Hi guys, Pen Fencer. Right, um, just to kind of admit that it's been nearly 12 months since I went through my belt. This is an updated version. This is probably version 3, I think it is. So, I think you deserve to see an update. And um, most of the contents are the same. I'm not going to deny that. But there's a big difference is that I've changed this clip. They call this a rigorous clip. I don't know if it's going to hold my weight. I really don't. So, yeah. But, it's a magnetic clip. I know magnetic clips are not supposed to be strong, are not strong, but that, to me, is strong. I struggle sometimes to on this. I did change this piece here, made this one, I put a little bit, made this a little bit longer. So, yeah, it's the same style. It is a new belt, as I said. This piece here is new. But, if I put it like that, it doesn't look that fat. Because it's not, it, you can, it can get more stuff in this. I've had this actually filled up quite a bit recently, and it can get rather uncomfortable in some parts, and in some parts it can get quite comfortable. So, yeah. Same again, I've took off the metal zip here, piece here, and added another one of these ones on, because then that can just slide down there when I'm not using it. And then I want to think, I'm thinking about actually sewing that piece on. Because then it can be used just for emergencies instead of having that open all the time. But I still haven't decided on that neither. So if any of you lot can recommend, if any of you lot you think actually that's a good idea, please let me know. Right, as I said, the contents haven't really changed that drastically. Yeah. The layout has changed quite a bit. Because it's made it more comfortable for me the way I've done it. I think I've had this set up this way for just under a week, something like that. I did get the idea from SOS on some bits, but then some bits I've been doing myself. Right, same again. I do have this whistle forward combo strike at the back. was there it's not a very big one but you'll know i do carry my my fire kit and i do have a fire kit edc fire kit in here and i do have my nice new pouch here so some things what were in here is now gone because this complements this kit i do have still one of these stupid button Lights, I'm having I mean, a button to keep that in or not. So, if you don't think I shouldn't keep that in because I have a torch in here, as far as on my keys, please let me know. I do still have this metal signal mirror. I think this thing is brilliant. I, I don't know what it is, but I actually do enjoy having this one. And I do actually sometimes, I, I have tried this one out and it works really well and it's easier to use. Right, this is where I've copied some bits from, as I said, from SOS. That's in these little plastic shrink wrap things. And that's basically a mini fire. Excuse me. This is the fire kit. It is in one of those shrink wrap things. I haven't sealed it yet because I need to find some bigger pliers. But yeah, I do have one of these sole flint strikers. I do have some two tinder quicks and I do have some magnesium. As I said, that's just a complement of that kit. I do want to keep that in there because of that kit. So yeah, that's that. I do have one of these UST um blade type things, whatever you want to call it. It is in that shrink wrap same game again, guys. I still just got to seal it up. It is the one with the saw on it as well, so I do have one of them. Do I recommend this? 
Probably not, no. <laughs> Possibly. I do have one of these fire starters from that company what does the military stuff. Same again, I don't recommend that. I really don't. And this is my water bag. Water carrier bag. With my purification tablets in there. There is five in there. So that's that one there. That holds a litre. This is one kit I am upgrading slowly. I'm going to be upgrading maybe in the next couple of weeks. Or next couple of days I should say. And that is my fishing kit. It's too small. I don't like it because it's too small. So I've only got two hooks. Um, three weights and 40 feet of fishing line. But to me that's just tiny. That's the size difference between the fishing stuff and the fire stuff. It's just stupid. So that will be upgraded, updated later on. And this is my tool section. I'm not taking nothing. I'm not taking it all out of here. I have a wire saw, fast wire, Kevlar cordage. I think it's about 15, 15 between 15 and 20 feet of that. I have a small sewing kit in here, and I have some duct tape. Or oh, I'm meant to have duct tape in here. I don't think I'll put it in here yet. No, I haven't. <laughs> Just done that as well. So yeah, so that's the tools side of things for my belt, and that's everything in my belt. And when I'm wearing it, you don't even know I'm wearing it. You don't even notice it's on. You just think it's, most people just think it's a normal belt. So yeah, that's all the update. That's all the contents of this belt. As I said, that is just because I've shown this pouch off recently and all the stuff in here. I have added a couple of more things in here. Like I've added another one of these water bags. Do I need it? No, probably not. Is it a necessity? Probably not. But because I had it, I thought I'd put it in. I might take it out actually because it's extra weight. And then, as well, I added, I took out that child um, fork and I added my titanium fork in here instead because I thought it was nicer. And that's it. Oh, yeah, and I added my um, a flint and steel, basically a small flint and steel type thing in here. I had my steel what I can turn into a pair of rock, what I got off my front. When she passed before she passed away, yeah. So that's that one I added, and as well as a piece of flint. And um, that's it, really, guys. So tell me if you think I should take out and out. I've got one there. As I said, this this pouch here will complement this belt. It always does. It always will. This belt would always be on me with pouch. So do I need that and that? So if you can help me, please do. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do apologise that this video has gone on a little bit longer than what it's supposed to because it's not a very big kit. And um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Please like the video, please share the video, please comment. And thank you for all your time and all your support. And we're gaining subs slowly, but we're at 204 subs to date. So yeah, so thank you very much and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.